Unit One. At the travel agent. Good morning, sir. How can I help you? Well, I have some time off from work next month, and I was thinking of going to Australia. Hmm, that sounds great. How long is your vacation? Just one week. My last day at work is the twenty-sixth of July, and I go back on the fifth of August. Okay. Here's our Sydney brochure. Have a look and see if there's a hotel that you like. Oh, this one is good. The Four Seasons Hotel. It's expensive, but I've been told it's very nice. Yes, it's a very high-class hotel. I'm sure you'll enjoy your stay there. Would you like me to make the booking now, sir? Hmm. Yes, please. I just need to take some personal information. What's your full name? Martin Andrew White. And your address? Eleven, Soi Jelanakorn, Kong San, Bangkok. And your telephone number? Zero two, six two four, nine seven three four. Do you have a daytime number I can call if necessary? Zero two, seven seven seven, one two one two. That's fine. Will you be traveling alone, Mr. White? Yep, just me. Okay. You finish work on Friday the twenty-six. So shall I try to book your flight for the next day? Yes, please. And a return flight on Saturday the third of August. I'll just check the availability. Okay. There are seats available on this Qantas Airways flight, but there is a three-hour stopover in Singapore. Is there a direct flight that I can take? Yes, Malaysian Airways. That flight departs at seven o'clock on Saturday morning, and arrives at Sydney at six thirty p.m. local time. That sounds better, but it's a little longer than I thought. Well, it's an eight-hour-long flight. Don't forget the time difference. All the times given are local time. Oh yes, that's right. They're three hours ahead, aren't they? Uh, can I have the details of the return flight? Um, that flight departs at six p.m. and arrives in Bangkok at eleven fifteen on that same night. Shall I reserve a seat for you? Yes, please. Now let's reserve a room for you at the Four Seasons. Do you want a single or a double room? Oh, a single room will be fine, thanks. Will it have a view of the harbor? Oh yes, all rooms have harbor views. They have a room available. Shall I make the confirmation? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so now you have a room available at the Four Seasons from Saturday the twenty seventh of July until Saturday the third of August. That's great. Can I pay by credit card? No problem. So it is sixty-two thousand baht, including your flight. Okay. Here's my card. When will I be able to collect my ticket? It should be ready in a couple of days. I can call you at work if you like. Thanks very much. Unit two, at the airport. Good morning, sir. Can I see your ticket and passport? Certainly. There you are. Thank you. Okay. And how many suitcases will you be checking in? Uh, just one suitcase. And did you pack your bags yourself? Yes, I did. Okay. Do you have any electrical goods? I have an electric shaver in my hand luggage. Is that okay? That's fine. Is there nothing in your suitcase? No. Okay. Do you like a window or aisle seat? Uh, a window seat, please. Okay.
In just one moment. And this is your seat number and the departure gate. You can go straight through to the departure lounge. Enjoy your flight. At what time will we be boarding? Uh, we begin boarding at 7. Okay, thank you. Would you like a newspaper to read, ma'am? No, thank you. Would you like a newspaper to read, sir? 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 Oh. Would you like a newspaper to read, sir? Uh, yeah. I'll take the Daily Mail. There you go, sir. Thank you. It'll help take my mind off things. I'm always a little nervous before flying. Oh, well, try not to worry too much. You know, air flight is the safest form of travel. I know. I'm sure I'll be better after we take off. You know, we have some flight entertainment for you, too. You'll find the film guide in the pocket in front of you, our in-flight magazine. Oh, good. A nice film will help me to relax. Programs will start shortly after takeoff. If there's anything I can get for you, then please just call for assistance. When will dinner be served? In about an hour or so. We have a fish, steak, and the vegetarian option. Which one would you like? Uh, fish, please. Okay. I'll be back later. Now, please, just try to relax and enjoy the flight. Sir, have you seen the catalog for our in-flight shop? This one? That's it. Would you like to order any duty-free goods? Uh, yes, please. Can I pay by credit card? Yes. All major credit cards are accepted, but purchases must not exceed 500 U.S. dollars. Okay. Um, I'd like this bottle of scotch whiskey, please, at $34? Right. That will be one bottle of Johnny Walker malt whiskey. Is there anything else you'd like, sir? Uh, yes. I'd like these titanium sunglasses. Yes. They are priced at 145 U.S. dollars. Will that be all, sir? Ah, uh, yes. That's everything. Thanks. The total bill comes to 179 U.S. dollars. Can I have your credit card, please? Uh, sure. Here you go. Thank you. Sir, please wait while I collect your duty-free goods. Thank you. Good evening, sir. May I see your passport and immigration card, please? Sure. Here you are. Thank you. Hmm. Do you have anything to declare? No, I just have these duty-free items that I bought on the plane. Hmm. That's okay. Welcome to Australia. Is this your first trip here? No, I came here on business a few years ago, but I couldn't stay long. Hmm. Are you here on business or pleasure this time? Purely pleasure this time. Good. Are you planning on traveling around during your stay? Well, I've only got a week, so I'm planning on staying in Sydney. Yes, Australia is a big place. You will need a week to see it all. Maybe next time. This time I'm going to try to see all the tourist areas of Sydney. Hmm. Good. I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you. Unit 3. Asking for assistance. Excuse me. Um, I've just arrived here, and I've been waiting at the baggage carousel for my suitcase. I, I think it's lost. Okay, sir. Don't worry about it. I'm sure we can find it. What flight were you on? Flight number MA201 from Bangkok. Yes, your bag should be on carousel 8. Well, this is where I've been waiting, and it's not here. What does your bag look like? Can you give me a description? It's green. 
Does it have your name on it? Yes, I wrote my name on the label. It's Martin Andrew White. Hmm. I'll just make a quick call to see if I can find it. Hello, Central? Yes. Code 17. Martin Andrew White. Yes. Sir, your bag is being held by customs. You can pick it up there. Is, is there a problem? I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. They will explain it to you at the customs hall. Just follow this corridor on your left. Okay. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Excuse me. Um, my suitcase is missing, and I was told I could collect it here. Can you identify which bag is yours? Yes, it's this green one here. What is your name? My name is Martin Andrew White. Okay, this is your bag? Yes, of course. Is, is there a problem, officer? It's just that our sniffer dog has smelt something in your bag. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to open it for me. Yes, of course. Uh, you're welcome to have a look. Thank you. Ah, this is what our sniffer dog found. I'm afraid you're carrying a packet of biscuits, and the packet is split. Oh, I forgot about those. Uh, they must have been broken during the flight. Mm. Well, I can't see anything else, so you're free to go. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're welcome. Excuse me. I'm trying to get to the city center. Where do I catch the bus? Oh, you can catch the bus just right outside. You go through the exit doors. Take a left, and the bus stop should be right in front of you. Okay, thank you. Where are you going? I'm staying at the Four Seasons Hotel. Oh, that's near the harbor, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, in that case, you'll want to get a number 63. It's a blue bus, and it leaves from bus station number 2. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for your help. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your visit. Good day. Good day. Unit 4, at the hotel. Good evening, sir. Good evening. I'd like to check in, please. Certainly, sir. Do you have a reservation? Yes. It's in the name of Martin Andrew White. That's right. You've booked a room with a view of the harbor? Can you please sign your name in the registration book? Here is your key card. You are in room number 1004. It's on the 30th floor. You'll have a great view of the harbor from there. Thanks. Where can I get something to eat? Our restaurant is located on the third floor. Dinner is served from 7. Great. What time is breakfast served in the morning? Breakfast is served between 6 and 10. Okay. Thank you for your help. You're very welcome, sir. I'll just call a bellboy to show you to your room. I hope you enjoy your stay. Is there anything interesting to see nearby? Yes, the hotel is in an area called The Rocks. It's the oldest part of the city. There are many cafes and restaurants nearby. Hmm. Are there any shops in the area? There are a few small craft shops, and we have a morning market every Saturday and Sunday. Hmm. The morning market sounds interesting. Are there many stalls? Yes, it's very big. You can buy souvenirs, handicrafts, jewelry, clothes. It's very good. Where are the other shops? Most of the shops are up in the city center. It's a short walk away. 
And the harbor is nearby too, isn't it? That's right. You'll have a good view of it from your bedroom window. Unit 5 At the restaurant. Hello, sir. Are you dining alone? Yes. A uh, table for one, please. Smoking or non smoking? Non smoking, please. I have a table for you. Please follow me. Thank you. Would you like a drink with your meal, sir? Can I see the wine list, please? I can recommend the House Red. It's a dry wine from the Hunter Valley here in New South Wales. Okay. I'll have a bottle of the House Red, please. Certainly, sir. Here is tonight's menu. A waitress will be with you shortly to take your order. Okay, thank you. Here's the wine that you ordered, sir. Would you like to let it breathe for a little while, or shall I pour it now? I'll have a glass now, please. Are you ready for me to take your order? Yes. I'll have the T-bone steak, please. How would you like it cooked? Medium rare. Okay. That is served with uh, seasonal vegetables and your choice of jacket potato or chips. Jacket potato, please. I haven't had a jacket potato in a long time. Okay. That's one T-bone steak, medium rare, with seasonal vegetables and a jacket potato. Yes. Thank you. Was everything okay, sir? Yes, that was delicious. Thank you. Would you like some dessert? We have cheese and biscuits, fresh apple pie, and chocolate eclairs. Ah, oh, yes, I'll have a chocolate eclair, please. Can I get you anything else? Yes, I'd like a cafe latte, please. I'll bring it to you in a moment. Could I have the bill, please? Certainly. I'll get it for you. Would you like to pay now, or shall I charge it to your room? I'd rather pay now, please. I will be back with the bill. Okay, so you had a T-bone steak, a bottle of the house red, a chocolate eclair, and a cup of coffee. That will be thirty-six seventy-four. Is service included? Yes, that includes tax and 10% service charge. Here's $40. You can keep the change. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Unit 6, at the bar. Excuse me. Can I order a drink, please? Sure. What can I get for you? I'd like a beer. What locally produced beers are there? Well, we have VB, Victoria's Bitter, which is made in Victoria, the southern state. And we have Tui's, which is produced here in New South Wales. I'll have a Tui's, please. Tui's. Would you like a glass or a midi? What's a midi? It's just a larger glass. I'll have a midi then, please. There you go. Thank you. Hi. Can I join you for a drink? Yes. Please do. My name's Tony. And yours? I'm Martin. Pleased to meet you. Are you here for business or for pleasure? Business. I'm here with a colleague of mine. We have a conference tomorrow. Will you have any time for sightseeing? A little, but we come here quite often, so I've seen many of the tourist attractions already. Yeah, I've come here on business before too, but I didn't stay very long and I had no time for sightseeing. This time, I'm only here for a holiday. Ah, uh, well, you should enjoy it. Well, I hope so. When did you arrive? 
Early this afternoon. And you? I've only just arrived myself. Are you planning on staying long? Oh, I'm here for a week. How about you? Just a couple of nights. Oh, that's too bad. It must be very tiring for you. A little, but I'm used to it. Are you traveling alone? Yes. Unfortunately, my girlfriend has work commitments, so she couldn't make it. Well, just try and stay out of trouble. <laughs> well, that would be no fun at all. <laughs> so, do you normally go shopping while you're over here? I try to avoid it. I do not enjoy shopping. I will have to buy some souvenirs for my kids, though. What are the best souvenirs to buy in Australia? Well, Australia is well known for its wildlife. There are a lot of things with kangaroos and koalas on them. Hmm. Anything else? Aboriginal art is really good. There are lots of things with Aboriginal art decorated on them. Hmm. Yeah, I'll look out for that. Then, of course, there is the famous didgeridoo. Oh, the Aboriginal musical instrument. Have you ever played it before? Yes, it's harder than it looks. Well, I'll have to try it while I'm here. Good luck. <sighs> well, I'm afraid I have to go to bed now. I should too. I have work in the morning. Thanks for the company. Hope to see you again. Maybe. Have a good night's sleep and enjoy your sightseeing tomorrow. Thank you. I will. Good night. Good night. Unit 7 Using Different Kinds of Services Good morning, room service. How can I help you? Good morning. I'd like to order some breakfast, please. Certainly. What would you like, sir? What cereals do you have? Well, uh, we have cornflakes, we have muesli, wheat bix, and all bran. I'll have a bowl of cornflakes, please. Would you like anything else, sir? Yes, I'd like two poached eggs on toast, please. Okay. That's uh, one bowl of cornflakes and two poached eggs on toast. Would you like a drink with your breakfast? Yes. Can I have a cup of coffee and some orange juice, please? Sure. It will be sent to you in 15 minutes. The bill will be charged to your room. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Good morning, sir. How can I help you? I'd like to exchange some currency. Is there a bank nearby? I'm afraid they're all closed on Sundays. Oh, yes, I forgot that it's Sunday. We do have a cashier service available here, though. What currency would you like to change? I'd like to change Thai baht into Australian dollars. Sure. Our exchange rate is 22.62 baht to the dollar and our commission fee is 2%. Okay. Uh, I'd like to change 10,000 baht, please. Fine. That's $442.08 minus $8.84 commission. Okay. I'd like to send some postcards to my friends. Where can I buy postcards and stamps? The hotel shop has a good selection of postcards, and you can buy your stamps there too. Okay, how will I know what stamps to buy? The shop assistant will have a chart. She'll let you know what stamps to buy. Okay, is there a post box nearby? We can do that for you here, sir. There's a post box at the end of the reception desk. Great. Wonderful. One more thing. It's my first day of sightseeing here. Can you suggest anywhere that I should go first? Well, the hotel has a concierge. His desk is over there by the door. 
he will be able to give you advice on tourist attractions and even make tour bookings for you. Oh, okay. Well, I'll go see him now. Thanks again. Bye. Goodbye. Unit 8. Concierge. Hi. I wonder if you can help me. I will certainly try. What can I do for you? Well, it's my first day here in Sydney, and I would like some advice on the local tourist spots. We offer a wide range of tours. Have a look at these leaflets and uh, see if there's anything you like. Hmm. What's the wildlife park like? Oh, it's very good. If you don't have time to go and see the wildlife in its natural habitat, you should try it. Hmm. What animals do they have there? Oh, let's see now. They have kangaroos, uh, koalas, possums, wombats, and emus. There's a lot. I like wildlife, so that's one place that I should visit. The leaflet says that that place is a koala sanctuary too? Yes, New South Wales has a lot of bushfires in the summer. Yes, I remember reading about one in the newspaper not very long ago. Hmm. A lot of koalas are made homeless when the forest is burned down. The sanctuary rehomes them. Well, it's nice to know that the money goes to a good cause. Obviously, it's not just koalas. A lot of other animals are either killed or injured too in the fires. Okay. This is another place on my list of places to visit. There is a bus that goes there every morning at 9 a.m. Would you like me to book a place for you? Yes, I'll go tomorrow. Will the bus pick me up from the hotel? Yes, just wait at reception and they will call you. Are there many things to see closer to the hotel? Yes, here is a map of the area. It is yours to keep. Thank you. I'd like to take a walk around. Uh, where should I start? Well, the hotel is located here, right near the boat quay. Right around the corner is the weekend market. It is open right now. You could start there. Oh, yes. Thank you, I will. And after that? Right across from the boat quay is the opera house. You could take a tour of the complex. That sounds good, too. What shows are on at the moment? Well, here is a leaflet containing all the performances this month. You can check for availability of seats at the booking office whilst you're there. Thank you very much for all your help. I'd better go now before the market closes. No problem, sir. I'm at this desk every day should you need any other advice. Goodbye and have a great day. Unit 9. Sightseeing. How much are these t-shirts? The adult sizes are $10 each and the children's sizes are $6. Hmm. I could buy some for my niece and nephews. I can give you a discount. Three shirts for $15, okay? Okay, that sounds like a good bargain. What sizes do you want? Well, my niece is eight years old and the twins are five. What designs do you want? Hmm. Well, my niece would love this koala t-shirt, but I'm not sure about the boys. Yeah, maybe the kangaroos. What colors would you like? Okay, I'll have an orange koala t-shirt and a blue and a red kangaroo t-shirt. That will be $15. $15. Here you are. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. I'm interested in seeing a ballet performance. Oh, well, we have Mirror Mirror showing at the moment, 
It's a performance based on the story of Snow White. That sounds good. Can you tell me the show times? Yes. Um, let's see. We have evening performances at seven during the week, and on weekends we have a matinee that begins at four. Do you have any seats available for an evening this week? This week. Let me check. Yes. What day would you like? Um, Tuesday, please. Okay, and would you like to sit in the stalls or the balcony? The balcony, please. Okay, that's one ticket for Tuesday's performance of Mirror Mirror. You have a seat in the balcony, and I'll see if I can get you as close to the front as possible. Okay, that's seventy-eight dollars. Okay, there you go. Okay, and here's your ticket. I hope you enjoy the show. Mm, thanks. Oh, um. Can you tell me the way to the art museum? Yes. Just go out the door, take a right, go around the botanical gardens, and you should see the art museum right in front of you. Okay. Thanks. I hope I don't get lost. Don't worry. There are signs along the way. Good. I'll probably need them. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye. Unit ten. Stopping a passerby. Excuse me. I think I'm lost. Can you help me? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, I'm trying to get back to my hotel. I'm staying at the Four Seasons. Do you know it? Yes, I do. You're quite a long way away. I thought I might be. You'll have to walk back to the center of the city. I could direct you, but it's complicated. Maybe I better catch a taxi. I think that might be a good idea. You can get one at the end of the road. Okay. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good evening, sir. Welcome back. Thank you. Did you have a good day? Yes, thank you. I went to the market, the opera house, and the art museum. I did get lost on my way back, though. Oh dear, I'm sure you'll soon find your bearings. Well, I think that's enough for one day. I'm gonna go have some dinner and go to my room. Okay. Have a good night's sleep. Thank you. I plan to. I have a lot more to see tomorrow. Hi there. This is Mary from VIPS TV. Today we're going to study about means of transport, and today we're going to study about private transportation. Okay. Now, there are five kinds today. I want to introduce to you. The first one is car. This one is car, right? The second one, truck or lorry. This is the truck or lorry. Number three, we have motorbike or motorcycle. Motorbike or motorcycle. And number four, we have bike or bicycle. This is the bike or bicycle. 